Okay, right now we have the winners. We have Ipau and Jovil. You guys won uh, the foosball uh, championship, the tournament here. How does how does it feel to be a winner? Um, it feels great. Well, uh, be more happy, la, bro. You guys won, no money and everything, no. <laughs> yeah, but we were really lucky. I don't want to like um, spread the fact that hey, you know, I'm I'm really gra- glad I won because I'm lucky, you know. Uh, you know, okay, you know, it's not lucky. It was skill. We can look back at the footage and we can see how skillful you guys are. Okay, I heard I heard a, li- a little birdie told me that you guys actually beat uh, Mike and his teammate uh, last year, right, at a tournament. So, is it how many times have you actually met these guys in the final or in a tournament? Oh, lots of times. Whenever we play, they will play. Yeah, we will call each other, we will gather up and enjoy this competition together. How long have you guys been playing, individually and together? Um, I've been playing for about four years. Four years. And together, one year, one year plus. One year plus? Uh, How long have you been playing? Yeah, yeah. Five, six years. Yourself? Yeah. Play? And another partner. Yeah. Okay. So why do you guys choose each other? Uh, because it's good. So all I have to do is I take the score and then I cheer. And then I win. <laughs> so he's the... Yeah, Ibao yeah. is the better one, is it? Yeah, he's the killer. You know. Because I think his defense is good, that's why I choose him. Okay, so you're a solely attacker and Jovi is solely a defender, is it? Or you guys mix up sometimes? Actually, we'll defend, see about the, the style, the action, the, the way they play, then we'll rotate. Yeah. How do you find the competition today? Like, your competitors? Good rate from 1 to 10? Um, they're, they're all really friendly. Um, we had fun, that's the most important thing, we had fun and I enjoyed myself. So actually it's not more of a competition, it's like, hey, let's gather, we play foosball and have fun together. It's, okay, yeah. okay Ipa, maybe you can tell me about the foosball uh, uh, competition in Singapore. Is there a lot of people playing foosball in Singapore? No, I don't no. think so. Yeah, it's, that, it's like less than 50. Less than 50 in the world? Singapore. Yeah, I guess it's less than 50. Maybe around them, that's why we are trying to gather as much people as possible, then you'll see, try a big competition and gather and fight it out. You guys have been playing about five to six years. Why do you all start? Why not like play computer games like everyone? Everyone likes to play World of Warcraft, like, everyone likes to play pool. How come you guys chose football? Or maybe football is only one of those things. Why why football though? Uh, I have no idea. I just started like randomly at one of the pubs and it really caught my attention. Um, it's something new. Uh, there, there are a lot of new tricks that were shown to me and I, I was really interested in trying this thing out. How about you, Ipa? I think, well, you just touch it and you get addicted. Yeah. And you just you keep playing, keep playing. You I actually took part in the media challenge just now. First round knocked out already. Oh, okay. So, which brings me to my next question. Maybe you guys can teach me like one skill uh, which confirm I can I can do it. Because uh. I see you all can fake the ball, you all can stop the ball and pass the other one player and shoot. Teach me one trick which will help me as a newcomer. One trick I guess would be passing. Passing is the game. Yeah. Yeah. Passing, it, the passing controls the game, the amount of possession you get. It controls the game. You have a lot of passes, you get a lot of shots. Yeah. Uh, you, you have a lot of chances. Just make sure you control the game through the passing. Before we go on to like the match, uh, I want to find out like uh, what was the highlights and the pitfalls of the match? What you guys did right and what you guys did wrong? <laughs> um, I, I mean, you guys want to match, so you did it mostly correctly. Uh, but but what, what do you guys... Uh, I want to know specifically what you guys did, did right. We just can't perform much. Uh. We just it's like randomly shoot out uh, everything. Uh. Yeah, we just can't perform our top, top, top form. I think we just, we just kept our cool. We, we didn't um, panic. We just played our game and make sure we play it right every single time. And don't confuse myself, you know. Just do what I do all the time. So you guys are actually better than this, is it? <laughs> in maybe in another type of table? We we'll just say that, yeah, in another type. What's wrong with the table here today? Um, it's... It's unstable, the, the flooring is uneven, the, the, the men are not as strongly constructed as okay. it could have been. Okay. Because uh, we have another type of table, it is a lot more consistent, it's very sturdy and stuff. You can do all sorts of other stuff that you might not be able to be, be do on this table. Can I find out uh, from you about, uh, or both of y'all, what is your training regime? Do you meet up every week, uh, how many hours, every day, where do you guys go? Every week, weekly. We'll just meet up at this this town area place. Then we'll just gather, train, play, and maybe some small, some sort of small competition. So there you have it, my friend. Uh, ESPN won the media challenge. Yep. Uh, we have uh, the good guys, uh, Jovil and uh, Ipao, who won uh, the consumer section of the uh, football challenge. I was amazed by some of the skills. Because yep. when we were playing in the office, we were training, we couldn't really get a team around the ball. But these guys are just crazy at Crazy skills. Okay, you know, one thing that struck me was that, you know, like uh, for me when I was playing, right? Uh-huh. Uh, when I hit the ball like that, I was really quite happy. I was like, wow, ecstatic, you know, like, oh my god, I hit the ball. Your hand eye coordination is superb, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, like, I'm the champion. But then these guys, you know, they're like um, juggling one, two, one, two, one, two, and then like lift, and then hit this side, and then juggle this side again. 
and then aim for the ball and then shoot it in. I mean, that to me was quite amazing. Like, you know, I didn't think it was possible. Yeah. But I mean, that goes to show, like, I guess, uh, how little we know about the foosball world. Yeah. And apparently, foosball in Singapore is, is growing from strength to strength. Mm. About 50 to 60 people who play professionally in Singapore. And every year, they go to Malaysia for tournaments and stuff like that. Um, you know what? I think it's something to look forward to. Yeah. Hopefully, the foosball sure. competition in Singapore will grow. What do you think post-mortem of our performance? Media I challenge? Think, no, I think we played well for, for the level of practice and the amount of practice that we put in. Which was what? Three days yeah. of one hour each? Three, no, three days of like 20 minutes each. Yeah. But it was enough to um, sort of see the competition. You know, we had a very close fight with uh, Adele, of course, uh, the destroyer. Yeah. Ultimately, um, they obliterated us, uh, but next year is another year. Next year is another year. So I will see you next year. We have one year to train. I the Tiger. Let's go. Radio TV. This has been a football challenge here at the Singapore Flyer. Check it out, guys.